In relation to tomorrow's vote on the uh, on the Mercosur trade deal, this deal took something like 20 years to agree upon and it was dispensed with in about 20 minutes uh, last Friday when this news surfaced. And uh, can I suggest to you that instead of giving it serious consideration, what you're doing tomorrow is simply embarking on that populist route for which you're famous um, putting down this vote, knowing full well you're not going to get support for it, and it goes nowhere. Well, you can suggest that, Aidan, but you could also just suggest as well that we've had Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael in government and that neither of them have stood up and stood up against this deal. This deal didn't just happen upon our land on the table. This deal has been worked for uh, for the, uh, the last 20 years. This deal is what Matt Carthy and the rest of us have highlighted again and again and again in terms of its impact for us. And now we have a government coming out saying that we're going to do an impact assessment report after all of this time it but is there are some difficult. aspects of this that be that are very very useful for ireland Aidan, you could also say, well, well, I'm interested in agriculture and I'm interested in saving the West and saving Mayo and saving rural Ireland. And the suckler cows and the beef producers in the, in the West of Ireland and in Mayo are going to be absolutely slaughtered with this agreement if it goes away. Now, Phil, we have been lied to. I am so angry. I've just come from a meeting with the IFA and I told them I have never been as angry about anything as I am about this deal because there's been double dealing done and we have been sold out once again. It's only two years ago since Phil Hogan said, beef is off the menu for Mercosur. Beef is off the menu for Mercosur. That was a lie. That was a lie. And I am just, I am, I am absolutely raging. And I'm raging in the sense that, you know, if you say we, we're, we, we think that this is just so important and so important for farming because it actually combines in terms of what's been happening with the beef industry. And you will see, and we've talked about it before, and I've talked about it in agriculture, around the deals that are being done and the double crossing that's been done in the beef industry. We don't have enormous dairy farmers. We don't have enormous, uh, you know, we don't have fantastic land in Mayo and the west of Ireland. We, farm families are struggling. And this is just this is just absolutely the government turning their back on them. And the reason we have this vote tomorrow is that we want to call the government out on this. There is no reason why they shouldn't support this motion to give uh, to, to to ensure that there is a vote within the doll. And the reason that this is important is because the, the the minister is saying that it is her understanding that it's a mixed agreement. Now, if something is a mixed agreement in the EU, it means that each of the member states has a veto on it. So if it is the case, but I need to get clarification from Europe on this because I don't trust the government on it at this stage, that if it is the case, then we would have an opportunity to veto it and we need to be ready. And that's why tomorrow evening they need, we need to agree across all parties and none that we are going to vote to have this excluded uh, from, uh, from, um, from Mercosur, to have beef excluded from it, not only from a beef producer's point of view, a farming point of view, but also from a climate change point of view. It's absolutely disgraceful that the government why, would consider signing up to this. Why would you want to close off a, a market of 280 th a million people in, in Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay? at a time when tastes are changing in terms of beef consumption, the likelihood is that there's going to be a significant reduction in the level of beef consumed, uh, not only in this country, but perhaps across Europe. Why would you close off that market at a time when the beef sector may just have to reconsider its options? Well, sure, that speaks for itself in terms of if, 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 if people's tastes are changing and, and they don't want, they're not going to want beef in the quantities that they want going forward. Why would we have an extra 99,000 uh, tonnes of, of beef bought in every year so it can flood the market here? Surely to, uh, what we should be going for then is the quality beef that's raised in places like Mayo where you have, um, you know, where you have the, the proper land and you have everything done according to EU regulations and all of that. That would be an argument for actually for taking beef out of it. Now I know you mentioned the 
other industries that would benefit and certainly yes so that's why we want the beef measure taken out of it as was promised to us two years ago so there's nothing wrong with Mercosur if the beef element is gone sorry there's nothing you have no difficulty with the Mercosur trade deal if the beef element of it is gone well that's my priority that is my priority in terms of the beef. I know it would also have an impact on the poultry industry, and I think we, we also need to look at that, both, both in terms of beef and in terms of, uh, of poultry. But I do think it needs to be taken out, because, Aidan, can you imagine the rural Ireland or imagine Mayo without agriculture? You know, we, we, we cannot let this happen.